August 20th, St. Bernard, Abbot of Clairvaux and Doctor of the Church. St. Bernard was born at Fontaine, a castle near Dijon. His parents had seven children. They were all well educated and learned Latin and verse making before the sons applied to military exercise and feats of arms. But Bernard was sent to Chatelon to pursue a complete course of studies in a college of secular canons. Here, his progress in learning was far greater than anyone could expect from one his age, and he was soon alert to listen to what God, by his holy inspirations, spoke to his heart. One Christmas Eve, while waiting with his mother to set out for matins, he fell asleep and seemed to see the infant Jesus newly born in the stable at Bethlehem. From that day forward, he had the greatest devotion toward our Savior, Jesus Christ after the death of his mother he became severely depressed he was rallied out of this depression by his sister humbleine however she was introducing him to the spirit of the world and he feared of becoming lukewarm and indifferent to the practice of his faith hence fearing the snares and temptations of the world he resolved to embrace the newly established and very austere institute of the cistercian order he also persuaded his brothers and several of his friends to follow his example in the year eleven thirteen st bernard with thirty young noblemen presented himself to the holy abbot st stephen at chiteaux after a novite spent in great fervor he made his profession in the following year his superior soon after seeing the great progress he had made in his spiritual life sent him with twelve monks to found a new monastery which afterwards became known as the celebrated abbey at clairvaux st bernard was at once appointed abbot and began that active life which has rendered him the most conspicuous figure in the history of the twelfth century he founded numerous monasteries composed a number of works and undertook many journeys to honor god several bishoprics were offered him but he refused them all the reputation of st bernard spread far and wide even popes were governed by his advice he was commissioned by pope eugene the third to preach the second crusade in obedience to the sovereign pontiff he travelled through france and germany and aroused great enthusiasm for the holy war among the masses of the population but this second crusade was a miserable failure its lack of success was due in no small measure to the crusaders themselves for most were lawless and committed every kind of disorder in their march and others were motivated by no other prospect than that of plunder to those who were led by motives of sincere penance and religion these afflictions were trials of the exercise of their virtue this unfortunate expedition raised a storm against st bernard because he had seemed to promise success his answer was that he confided in the divine mercy for a blessing on an enterprise undertaken for the honor of the divine name but that the sins of the army were the cause of its misfortunes further who could judge the extent of its success or failure and how is it that the rashness of mortals dare reprove what they cannot understand early in the year eleven fifty three st bernard entered on his last illness when he received the last sacraments and his spiritual children assembled about him in tears he comforted and encouraged them saying that the unprofitable servant ought not to occupy a place uselessly that the barren tree ought to be rooted up he told them that his love for them inclined him to remain till they should be gathered with him to god but his desire to enjoy christ made him long for death i am strained between the two he said and what i choose i know not i leave it to the lord let him decide and god took him to himself on august twentieth in the year eleven fifty three he was canonized in the year eleven seventy four and in eighteen thirty formally declared a doctor of the church